let's say you're in the Louisville, Kentucky area, where we're recording this show on Shelbyville Road, and we have figured, looking through our research, that just within a 10-mile radius of Louisville, Kentucky, there are more than 2,000 financial advisors. So I got to put myself in your shoes and thinking, what in the world are you going to do, and how are you going to find an advisor that is working in your best interest? Well, on the last segment, we covered this little graphic. This is one place to start. Mainly, it's all about disclosure, trying to find out if these people are independent. Are they captive to certain other companies? Can they sell a multitude of products? What are their fees? Uh, what is their setup? What is their attention to details? Do they even have a process? Uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So what I thought I would do, kind of dovetailing on this point, we're going to walk over to the whiteboard. And I want to kind of help you understand this difference between someone, an advisor who is captive or beholden to one particular company, which again, nothing necessarily wrong with this. Don't get me wrong. So if you've got an advisor, an agent that has to work with one company, a big institution, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. I'm just trying to share with you exactly what can happen in terms of getting a broad scope of products and services. Or somebody who is independent of all of these companies, I can work with anybody I want, assuming they're wanting to contract with us. Some insurance companies are captive, and unless you put all your business with them, they won't let you be. So there are certain companies out there, even if I wanted to write their products, I couldn't because I've got to agree to do all my business with them, which I'm not going to do that. Oh, good example of this. Uh, years ago, I had a good friend of mine, and he was very, very well known in the life insurance business. Worked for a very large life insurance company, a very good company, by the way. And over the years, he'd sold a lot of business. And with life insurance companies, when you sell a lot of business, you get what's called renewal commissions. So as long as people keep those policies, you can make tremendous amount of renewal commissions each year. I'll call him Jim, which Jim did. Now, Jim apparently had a spouse of a client who passed away. The client came to him and received a lot of money and needed somewhere for Jim to invest it. And he said, Jim, I want some of these new fixed indexed annuities that came out. This was back in the late 90s when these products were first introduced. So Jim says, we don't sell those products. And the guy said, well, hey, Jim, I'm going to buy them from somewhere. And this was a large transaction. I'll show you this in a minute, how much commission's involved in this stuff. So Jim, unbeknownst to him, went out and found a company that sold these products because his current captive company did not. Didn't know any difference, just sold the products. Well, the captive company found out in the contract, they canceled his contract without cause. Jim was out of the world of, uh, for that particular company and lost all of those renewal commissions. So was that a good or bad thing? Well, the point was, if an agent or an advisor is captive to a company, you've got to realize they are employed by that company. Whereas an independent financial fiduciary, I like to say, I'm employed by you. I'm not beholden to Charles Schwab or the insurance companies. Granted, we have to stay on the up and up with them and all that type of thing, but we're not beholden to have to sell a particular product or use a particular company. That's why for years I've always been independent. So what I want to do in our time remaining is just think a little bit about what's going on now, especially in the annuity world, because there's more and more people selling annuities. Even these big financial institutions had someone come in the other day and say, Tony, I didn't think some of these big financial institutions liked annuities. I was just pitched an annuity by recently one of these big financial institutions that years ago tended to bash them. Why is that? The reason you're starting to see more and more annuities is number one, they are great products in the right situation, but it's about money. It always comes down to money. So what we're going to do, we're going to imagine you take $100,000 and you're going to put it either with an insurance agent, you have to be a licensed agent to sell annuities that works for a captive company or one like us that's independent. What happens exactly? Well, depending on the type of annuity, that annuity might pay a 6% commission. So that would be $6,000 that's paid to the company. All right, keep this in mind. So let's say our good friend Jim, he was employed by a company. The company, the captive company, got the $6,000, okay, depending on Jim's production. I don't know, he might have gotten 3000 of that and the other $3,000 went to the bottom line of the company. Now, how would that work at Tony Walker Financial? We're independent. Let's say the commission on that product is still $6,000, but that amount of money, there is a small amount. We have to go through marketing agencies to get these. A small amount is skimmed off the top, but more of that comes over to us because we're running the show. We pay for all of our own compliance, pay for all of our own marketing, advertising, and then all of the staff. This is the key. 
The reason I need that extra money is to pay for all this staff that we hire so that we can make sure those details are taken care of. So my philosophy has always been, I'm going to work really hard. We're going to get really, really good at what we're going to do. But I'm going to spend any extra money that's paid to us because we're independent on our staff so that that staff can provide the services you expect. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed that video. If you'd like, check out these other clips. And be sure to hit that like button and that subscribe button for more videos.